fight with us is obviously a great win for us. Uh, this is a tough place to play against a good team. Uh, certainly proud of the way our guys competed in the game. Um, and you know, you say you got to always play the next play. Uh, we certainly shot ourselves in the foot three times in a row in the red zone where we threw an interception and kicked two field goals. In a critical time in the game where we really could have sort of broke the game open early on. Um, you know, defensively we played decent at times, but at times we gave them plays that we shouldn't have. Um, let the quarterback scramble around a little bit too much in the game and didn't really finish the game with class in terms of, you know, being able to take the air out of it. Too many penalties. I mean, 11 penalties on the day. I think special teams was huge in this game. We had over 300 yards in returns. Uh, and, you know, the way I do math on that with your score touchdowns or not, every 100 yards you have in field position is, you know, worth six points. So uh, that was huge in terms of the field position. It was huge in our, you know, ability to turn the field around and uh, probably score points. But uh, I felt like we did a lot of good things in the game today, and we obviously have things that we need to work on. Uh, we don't really have anybody significantly injured. Um, Will Reichert will still be day to day as we go through and see how he feels next week. And Chris Owens should be able to start practicing a little bit more. But we'll just have to see how those guys, you know, go right now. But you know, I was really proud of the way our team competed in the game. You know, they took the ball right down and scored first, you know, drive of the game. And you know, the players didn't reel. The players didn't get frustrated. They just made the adjustments that we need to make and you know played better. You know, right through the rest of the half. So. Um, you know, a lot of good things in the game. Um, tough place to play. It's a great win for us, especially in our division. Coach, Coach, did you see anything during the bye week that led you to believe you would have a big day with returns? Look, people don't kick the ball to us very much. All right, so, I mean, we went through six games last year at the end of the season where we got one ball kicked to us that we could return on a kickoff return. Um, they got to the point where they never would kick the ball to Waddle. Now, these guys have a great punter, and everybody asked me about a great punter, and my comment was, great punter is good for us because we'll get some return balls. Uh, and we got some. So he kicked it far, and we returned it far. So that's the way it goes. What happened at the end of the game with Devontae Smith? Um, you know, basically, he got hit, punched, um, and he retaliated. So, you know, we'll have to wait for the conference office and see what his status is. So it was offsetting fouls. Um, obviously, their players shouldn't have punched him, uh, but he also shouldn't should have had the discipline not to hit him back, because right, that's a foul. We'd have got a 15-yard penalty, and that would have basically ended the game. Um, we also got another penalty for pushing a pile at the end of the game, um, which we're trying to take the air out of the ball so the other team can't get the ball back. You can't get penalties. I right, believe the shot clock run out. I mean, just didn't finish the game like you need to finish the game. You don't want to give good teams the ball back. Uh, you want to try to win the game on offense, take the air out of it, don't give them extra possession. What did you think of your defense's ability to affect the quarterback today? Uh, we were better today uh, until the end. I think we got a little bit tired. We got out of our rush lanes a little bit. This guy's a good athlete. He took off running a couple times for a couple big plays, which you know we have to do a better job of that. We, you know, our plan was to make this guy throw the ball from the pocket. That's what we wanted to do. We did not want him to do what he did last year. And he didn't for a long time, but then he did at the end of the game. What's your biggest takeaway with the win today? I'm sorry? What's your biggest takeaway from this win today? Well, you know, I, I sort of look at all the good things we did and try to build on those things. And I think when you're a coach, you're a critic to some degree. Uh, in terms of looking at the things that you need to improve on and get better. Uh, and if players are really great competitors and want to be really good, uh, they want you to do that. You know, they want you to tell them what they need to do to try to get better and what we need to do to try to get better. So um, the one thing that you have to remember about players is there's nobody that wants to do well more than they do. You know, fans have a tough time understanding that sometimes. Uh, I never have a tough time as coaches, but sometimes coaches do. Were you encouraged with what you saw from the running game? I'm sorry? Were you encouraged with what you saw from the running game, especially Najee Harris? Well, I, I, I thought we did a good job for the most part. Um, great at balance. Um, and we were able to run the ball at the end of the game when we needed to, uh, which I think was a real positive. Nick, you mentioned play. earlier in the game where Gary and Tua didn't really seem to be on the same page down in the red zone. 
where do you think that connection is at this point between those two artists? No, it's great. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, we, we read routes sometimes based on coverages or how people are playing, and, you know, you're counting on both guys sort of seeing the same thing, and that doesn't always, you know, happen exactly that way. But, um, you know, those two guys work together well. I think we have great chemistry. You know, with all of our skilled players on offense, with the quarterback, he does a really good job of leading and being positive and encouraging, you know, those players. And you know, I think he appreciates the fact that they all make a lot of great plays. From what you saw, and I know you don't get to watch offense line closely, but how do you think Landon played? Uh, well, it'd be hard for me to say, but uh, I never heard a lot of negatives, you know, on the headset about what he was doing. Uh, we had one negative play where he pulled and. You know, he got tripped up and fell down. That's about the only thing that I heard. So I'm assuming that he did pretty well. Nick, you mentioned the return game being big for you guys. But you also guys were able to keep them from starting deep. They were starting inside of their own 30 most of the day. I guess how big of that field position difference was it for you today? Well, I think it was huge. Obviously, we blocked a punt and scored on special teams and changed field position. And um, I think the fact that even when we didn't score, you know, we moved the ball and kept the ball some today, so we changed field position from that standpoint. And, you know, that was probably um, really good for us defensively. You talked about controlling the game right. over the last couple of right. How did you feel in terms of that game? It seemed like there were a couple longer sides. Right. <laughs> um, I don't really understand the question. Like being able to control the clock and sustain drive a little longer. Look, man, I want to score. I tried to explain that to you guys. All right, so if we score fast, which we scored fast a couple times a day, I'm okay with that. It still counts. You know, I mean, and I also said that we are not going to change the way we play offense all right, because of some other part of our game. All right, so, you know, I was glad that we were able to run the ball more effectively today, and hopefully we'll be able to create that balance in the future. But we're not trying to change the way that we play. Well, his first game he's really been able to practice and play. You know, he practiced very sparingly before we played uh, Ole Miss. Uh, he played, you know, about half the time in the game, maybe not even that. Uh, but because he was able to practice a little bit more, I think he was, um, you know, more active in the game today. Probably more confident. Probably more explosive because he was healthier. Nick, what adjustments made after that first that first possession when they drove down and scored with the shot? Uh, you know, they put the formation in the boundary. They were running the ball a little bit out of some formations that we thought might be throwing formations, and um, you know, so we just had to make some adjustments to formation in the boundary. We made a couple of mental errors on the adjustments, which left people open. So, you know, once our players settled into understanding what they were doing, then you know, we we at least took those things away. You know, that they still throw and catch and the quarterback run a few times, yes. Um, but, you know, even even the, the two minute before the half, you know, we get two rough in the quarterback penalties, which is 30 yards of field position. So, um, you know, they get a, they end up getting a field goal out of it. So, you just got to play smarter when it comes to those types of penalties, man. You can't give, you can't give good people extra opportunities. Nick Tua became the uh, school's all-time touchdown pass leader past A.J. McCarron. What does that milestone mean, if anything? Uh, well, it means he's had a great career, you know, to this point. Uh, and we certainly appreciate uh, his competitive spirit, the way he prepares for games, his leadership, the way he practices, his ability to, you know, help us score points on offense. Uh, it's very instinctive. So it means a lot from all that standpoint. But... It also doesn't mean much when it comes to what are you going to do in the future. So, and I think he has an opportunity, uh, based on the kind of offensive team we have, to have great production if he can continue to just stay focused, you know, on, you know, what we want to do. I mean, this is where this very seat is where rat poison was born. All right. So, <laughs> I remember that two years ago. I, and when I hear things in the media about whether guys are first-round draft picks, or they're setting great records, and all that type of thing, uh, that's not really what I like for players to be focusing on right now.
You know, you got to focus on what are you doing right now, not what's going to happen in the future, not really what happened in the past, but what can I learn from what's happened in the past? How can I affect what's going on right now? Because that's what's going to affect the future in a positive way. So that's how we want our players to think, regardless of how difficult you all make it for us sometimes with some of our players. All right, Coach, thank you.